It's a warm summer's day in Gauteng, and from all over the country, Land Rover owners are gathering in small convoys to join the ultimate Land Rover convoy. Why are they doing it? What have they got to prove? This is to find out if Land Rover owners in South Africa are madder than those in the UK. And my vote is going to the South Africans. Today, there is going to be an attempt at the Guinness Book of World Records of how many Land Rovers in one place. And I think we're going to knock the spots off the Brits. Now, the existing convoy last year, 2011, in the UK was 348 Land Rovers in one convoy. So far, here, they called this, in England it was called the Convoy for Heroes, they called this the M-L-R-H-A-S, which is my Land Rover has a soul. They already have 760 confirmed registered drivers arriving, which probably means they're going to beat a thousand. It's going to be chaotic. Now, I'm not a Land Rover owner, so technically I'm not really supposed to be here. So I've come up with a cunning disguise. This, of course, is the Range Rover Evoke. And it's evoking a lot of attention around here with all these hardcore off-roaders that are looking at it and some of them are laughing, but the ladies aren't. Launched in South Africa in 2011, the Evoke is probably for me the best looking car to be released for many, many years. I think it's gorgeous. There are convoys like this all over the country. There are hundreds and hundreds of Land Rovers from as far away as Cape Town coming to this event. Amazing to see all of these Land Rovers all in one place. I don't know what the other people must be thinking. But that's the thing about Land Rovers. It is unlike any other motor car in the world. You know, I've owned four of them, spanning almost 20 years. And there's something about owning a Land Rover. You'll be driving along and they'll wave at you. For no other reason did you have the same kind of car. In a camping site, if you've got a Land Rover, particularly Defender, and a Defender owner comes to camp, they'll camp right next to you. You're, you're friends immediately. If you've never been there, you never quite understand it. And the critics of Land Rovers say that it is a bond of mutual suffering. It's not that at all. It's a bond of mutual respect not just for the cars, but for each other. It is unique in motoring. What we're doing is we're setting a record, world record, uh, how many Land Rovers or how many vehicles can actually get into a uh, convoy. Uh, the previous record is 380 something odd set in the UK, but I have, uh, I have a serious uh, feeling that we're going to get around a thousand, around a thousand odd, yeah. Okay, Craig, this chaos is your fault. <laughs> what on yeah. earth made you do it? Yeah. Um... Uh, you know, I run a little website and, and all the guys on the website were wanting something to do, have a little bra or whatever it was and uh, I just had... And this is, this is the story of my life. My phone has been ringing all day. Tim, I'll phone you back in a second. I'm just uh, having a chat with someone. Um, this is not just a little bra. No, it's not. This is the problem. It turned out from a little bra into a, into a massive event, but it was really because uh, I, I was... I was Sort of on the internet scouting around seeing what Land Rover guys are doing and I saw a record that was begging to be broken 
and uh, I only needed 349 vehicles. Yeah, and um, we uh, this morning or yesterday morning we were on 1,101 vehicles um, registered for the attempt tomorrow. Um, so I think we're on our well on our way to smashing a UK record, and we might. I mean, uh, that isn't smashing a record. That is obliterating. <laughs> I mean, that is seriously. I mean, it just proves that in South Africa we're a little bit more insane than in England about Land Rovers. I think so. I think we. Oh, this, this this is proof that that the guys are unbelievably passionate. They've come from everywhere. I've got guys that have come from Cape Town, from yeah. Namibia, Vintuk, um, guys from Vintuk. It's been. It's been a, a beautiful thing to see. The, yesterday when I saw the first Land Rover drive in and, and register, it was a Defender and it was well kitted and I was just, wow, that's so nice. And now, this is like, this is on steroids. This is huge. <laughs> it's beautiful. Well, I'm congratulations. It. Brilliant. No, it's, Brilliant. It's, it's, it's a whole lot of fun. I'm, I'm loving it. take you almost two days to get two here days driving, that's correct, yes. for this just for this event just because of love for land driver we want to send everybody our regards also from the Cape Town area and our support in land driver fantastic and you see you like me have come all the way from Cape Town yeah I'm uh, basically from Reesburg it's a small farming community from uh, from that area and it's worth driving for two days well, uh, especially if it's in the Land Rover, it's always an adventure, so... Uh. Okay. I have to ask one other question. Okay. Are you a member of the Land Cruiser Club? No, I'm not. Uh, I actually got that on a West Coast cleanup trip. And uh, from the Land Cruiser guys, and uh, yeah, it caused quite a stir. Because I had Land Rover clothing on that weekend too. Ah, I see, but they still gave you a sticker. <laughs> or did you steal it? No, they gave me one. <laughs> and they were generous. <laughs> <laughs> they were. <laughs> That's a good bunch, a good bunch of fellas too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun there. Where? Namibia. Where? Namibia. Where? Namibia. Where? Namibia. Where? Namibia. Okay, it's getting Namibia. boring. It's getting Namibia. boring. <laughs> Where did you Mozambique. come? Okay, we got a Mozambique. And, and that's Botswana. that's Ponta Maria. I know where that is. Yeah. Okay. How, where'd you come from? Oh, you're local. Yes. Joburg. Okay. Good and your kids. Oh, no, I'm one, not. I'm... One. <laughs> and you came just for this. Yes. This one's name is Elizabeth. But oh, I right. bought it in Bogusdruf in, in Gauteng. I drove it back on the highway the N12. Yeah. Coming back, I was approaching the left hand lane, there was a big truck in front of me. And then, the uh, rear view mirror, I saw a, a new, brand new, looked like a 2012 uh, V8, uh, big Range Rover. And the guy that actually braked for me, and he flashed my lights so that I can pass in front of him. And that was the same time when Prince William got married. Okay. And my wife said to me, she was driving behind in other vehicles, she said, that was like all this, this rich guys stopping for the Queen to pass. <laughs> and that's, that's how Elizabeth <laughs> got her name. Oh good, that's a good story. Yeah. Yeah. And my Range Rover looks just like yours. Why, the white one? The white one, yes, yeah. there it stands. Right through, yeah, right, check yeah. it. How, Two door. How old? How old? 79 I think it is. Okay. We go where we look, that's it. Yeah. There's no roads. I know. And yeah. that's where we go. Yeah. That's as easy as that. Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. But um, if you don't mind, here's our club's badge. Just put your name on top of it. Nine, on the badge. Uh, on top anyway, of the badge, wherever. Right I'll just okay, not wash the shirt it's for not you. Writing. A, it's not writing. It's not writing. A, not really. A, oh, fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm not. You know, I don't like when people say, "Oh, you're a Toyota man." No, so, no, no. no. I'm, I, I like Toyotas. I like some of them. I don't like some of them. Yeah. You're not biased. I love. I love the G wagon. But I hate oh. the M class. It's a piece of rubbish. No, no, no you're right. You know, so, so, so I'm not a Mercedes man either, and I wasn't a Mercedes man when I drove the Galandavagen. When I first drove my Range Rovers and, and Land Rovers, I was definitely a Land Rover man. That's it. That's what Absolutely you want to hear. Cheers what? to that. Cheers to that. So, if it ever, if it happens again, or it happens again. And you know what has delighted me the most about all this? Is the fact that the Land Rover folk have welcomed me with open arms as if I'm still one of them. The fact is that it's over 10, 20, I don't know, years since I owned a Land Rover. My Land 
they haven't got, it hasn't got soul. This thing's got a heart of its own, I'm telling you. And really, sometimes when, when there's pain here, there's pain here. That's all. Finished. <laughs> On the 4th of March 2012, a new world record was achieved. In total, 1,007 Land Rovers lined up for the 27-kilometer long convoy.